tuned into Black Hollywood Live, the world's first digital broadcast network devoted entirely to urban entertainment and pop culture. Tune in <laughs> right now. Hey, it's Thursday. What's up, my beautiful people? Welcome inside the Black Actors Studio. I'm your host, Danny Royce. Joining me in the studio today is my youngest guest <laughs> gracing the studio. I'm excited to have her in here. You've seen her on Hidden Figures, Black Panther, Grey's Anatomy, and much more. And you know her very well from Good Girls as Sarah. The Black Actors Studio is very proud to have Lydia Jewett. Hi, everyone. <laughs> how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for joining us. Of course. Thank you for having me. Of course, of course. And I, as I mentioned, you are the youngest guest in here. So yes. it's very, it, I, I love having different, you know, mm -hmm. um, guests yeah. in the studio to get different perspectives. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. so definitely uh, talking to our younger audience and our young actors yeah. and they're out there making it work or trying to make it work. So that's great that you're here. Thank you again. Of course. Thank you. And I want to say congratulations mm -hmm. for uh, season three. Thank you. Come, and, come through. That's so amazing. Yeah, come through. Yes. <laughs> so um, tell us a little bit about uh, your your character specifically and maybe what we can expect okay. well um, as most of you know my character on good girls is Sarah Hill she's the daughter of uh, Ruby and Stan Hill on good girls and Sarah for this season I think everyone should expect seeing some changes in Sarah seeing mm -hmm. like how she gets older and she gets smarter mm -hmm. and so I think everyone's going to be excited but also surprised to see um the changes in okay her. yeah all right <laughs> awesome well we'll talk a little bit more about yes, uh, good girls later on definitely. but uh how we like to get started in the studio here mm -hmm. is from the beginning okay where were you born um i was actually originally born in ethiopia yeah, yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. very nice <laughs> <laughs> and, and um um, I was adopted when I was four years old, right. and I came to yeah I came to the United States when I was four years old. Okay. And it's very funny because um, when I started acting, it really it wasn't really a thing that I mean I love acting, but it's like it wasn't really a thing then that I said I want to be an actor when I grow up. Mm -hmm. You know, it really just I hate to say I hate to say it this way, but it really did just happen. Yeah. It started happening because. Um, I would be like walking around with my family and people would stop us almost every day and say, oh my gosh, she's so, she's so cute, she should be on commercials <laughs> yeah. and stuff like that. And so that happened for about a year and it was actually my sister who said, okay, if like, if one more person comes up to us, we don't have to pursue it, but we should like look take a look it. at it. Yeah. yeah, for sure. And so there was this um, one friend we had who was in modeling and in print and so we asked her like, don't tell us which doors to go through, but tell us which ones to kind of avoid. And mm. from then it kind of just started happening. Nice. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and so you did like commercials when you were younger? or yes. yes. Yeah, I did commercials and then it went to national commercials. And then I got picked up by an agency here in California yeah. and it nice. kept on rolling. Where did you move uh, before? I was or actually, lived before, I lived in uh, Florida at that time. In Florida. Yeah. We've, we've lived here for about, um, we've lived here full time for about two years now. Okay. But we went back and forth for about, I think, three or four years. Yeah. Yeah. From California to Florida. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Um, I mean, you have viewers, you know, from everywhere in mm -hmm. all walks of life um, and those who are, have been adopted. Mm -hmm. um, what, are, what was like something, uh, a challenge for you? Um, growing up, being adopted, and mm -hmm. what was something that like you're truly grateful for? I mean, I'll start. I'll start with the truly grateful because I'm just grateful because if I wasn't adopted, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be here talking to you right, right now, mm -hmm. and I wouldn't be at the point in life that I am. Right. And so I'm very grateful for um, my mom and dad who adopted me mm -hmm. when I was four years old. And I think really the hardest thing. Not not really the hardest thing, but something that was kind of difficult for me was it was I was different, you know, yeah. and with every with every kid out there who's that age, it's harder to be different from all your friends yeah, and to have all yeah. that. But what was great is that I ha actually had friends who were also adopted. And so mm -hmm. it, I wasn't like too different. We were all the same. But right. I think that was one of the things that I didn't struggle with, but it was something that was kind of always there. Yeah, for yeah. sure. For sure. I, I understand that. Um, so uh, when you did you have any um, 
I don't want to ask this question. It's funny. <laughs> Did you have any nicknames growing up? Oh my gosh, I still, <laughs> you still, I have, still have this nickname. Um, my breath, my all my siblings call me Fuzzy Wuzzy because of my hair. Uh, <laughs> but not not in a not like it's just joking, right? It's just joking, right? Yeah. Right. And so, um, so, yeah, I got, so I got to see it out the braids. I know, then yes, I guess we have the braids in right now. But when my hair was out, it'd be so big and so fluffy and so yeah, it's so fluffy. So, it's so fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, yeah, my my siblings and I have always teased each other throughout the years, yeah. so it is funny. I used to hate the nickname when I was growing up, but now of it's, course. now I appreciate now it. Now you appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> um, did, how many siblings are you? I have three. three. I'm the youngest. You're the youngest. Yeah. Okay, I'm the youngest of four, so oh, wow. baby power, let's yeah. go. Uh, <laughs> And so how, how are family dynamics uh, in your household? You guys all get, get along pretty well? Um, I, I mean, mean you have we get obviously along a sibling rivalry. Get a, yeah, yeah, we get along as siblings. We get along. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, right now I actually have... Um, I have two siblings who are in college right now. Mm -hmm. And so my sister goes to college in... Um, uh, at Channel Islands, and so she's not too far away from a home, so she comes home like every other weekend, so okay. I get to see her. But nice. um, yeah, also my uh, my brother goes to college also, so mm -hmm. yeah, I'm I'm the baby, but I'm also kind of just there at house alone. Right. But yeah, <laughs> I mean, and um, you're going to school as well. Yes, so, yeah. Um, for you know, how how is that for you? Uh, uh, school. Going, yeah, because I mean, I've I've spoken, I've had people on here who were child actors and mm -hmm. things like that, and you know, having their uh, perspective. But as in now, yeah. 2020, <laughs> you know, it's a little different. Yes. So how is like the school life with acting mm -hmm. and all that? How's that I work mean, for you? Being a child actor or where I am right now, it is harder to fit the school dynamic yeah. into it. But mm -hmm. I'm very big on education, and education has always really come first with me. Okay. And so with our family in general. Mm -hmm. And so right now I actually go to an online school. It's called Dwight Global. Oh, okay. And it's actually been my dream school for about like five years now. <laughs> and so I'm nice. really excited that I'm um, actually attending the school. That's awesome. But it's really good because the classes are, it's kind of like more of a college schedule. It's one class maybe two times a week. And so if you miss one class, you can catch the other. Oh, but that's perfect. Yeah, so that's really good for um, like how much I work and how much I do right. all these different things. And so, yeah, it's a really good school. And I'm like I love this school because mm -hmm. it's just a very good curriculum yeah. and so yeah it's very good dyna dyna that's good dynamic. and it's it's uh, very flexible mm -hmm. that's awesome yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah and you mentioned earlier you know that you know it just kind of happened you didn't mm -hmm. wish a dream to be yeah. which you know it happens all the time you yeah. know you just fall into things people will, like you know when they're younger they're like oh I want to be a, a, a fireman or a yeah. scientist and then they fall into something else mm -hmm. which they turn to absolutely love yes. but I, I always say that you know your heart will it will find what makes you happy you yes. so yeah. you always enjoyed performing you just I, said no yes yeah, <laughs> I was always a very outgoing right. kid so this was uh, this is actually very perfect for me yeah. <laughs> exactly um, so wh who are some of the people that you watched um, when you were younger and now uh, that really inspired you on the screen and and made you kind of just want to give it give it your all to this well that's that's a really good question and because like just going back to that whole it just started happening the thing it's like it, it's funny because I get some sometimes I get questions like what inspired you to start mm -hmm. acting it's not really what inspired me to start acting it's what inspired me to keep going yeah and mm -hmm. so it's really the people in the shows and the movies that I watch that like give me that feeling like I want to do that I right. want to be in that role mm -hmm. and so I've uh, my dream actually is to be um, maybe in like five years to be in those really dramatic roles that can move people in the emotion because yes. my favorite movies and TV shows are when um, people give themselves give all of themselves to a role and they have such a strong emotion that they are showing that i can feel that emotion mm -hmm. too while watching yes and so that's what my dream really is to portray nice yeah then so what are your favorite some of your favorite tv shows and movies I mean, I love Grey's Anatomy. Mm -hmm. I love. Um, <laughs> I actually just. I actually just watched the movie Day After Tomorrow ah, with Dennis Quaid. Okay. And so I love that, that was movie. An, an amazing <laughs> movie. Yes. I love that, that movie. was an amazing movie. But um, 
Yeah, and like this is us and it, all that. Yes, so this is us. yes, amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I actually uh, do that uh, after show. I host the after show of oh, This really? Is Us. That's yeah, awesome. It's, yeah, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. Um, it's a great time. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so uh, you talked about you know some of these people who have uh, powerful emotional mm -hmm. um, performances. Yes. What's one performance that you've seen that really changed the game for you? I mean. I at did. The top of your head. I know. I mean, <laughs> this is this is from this is the first thing I can think of. Um, mm -hmm. I, it is a little bit older for me, but it was a really good movie to watch. Mm -hmm. um, Three Billboards out of Ebbing, Missouri. Mm. That was such an amazing movie. And even though it was like that emotion throughout, it was some parts that were really heavy and really emotional yeah. that really like got me and right. that, like really like hooked me on it and right. so that's that's the kind of roles that I want to portray in a few years for time. sure yeah. for sure well you know nothing's ever too old for you if you can understand <laughs> yes. it if you can yeah. be affected by it then yeah. you know then it's it's perfect yeah it's good to watch <laughs> it's very good <laughs> yes. to watch um so I want to talk about uh you know um hidden figures mm -hmm. for for example you yes. know um one of it was an incredible movie mm -hmm. and one of my favorite yeah. actors uh, uh Tarachi P Henson yes. and how was it working on that set I mean it was amazing Ted Melfi the director is such an amazing um director mm, yeah <laughs> <laughs> for sure and, um I've actually yeah we've actually stayed in touch with him for a little bit but um it was amazing because one day on set, I actually got to meet Janelle and Octavia and mm -hmm. Taraji. So that was really amazing because, you know, I probably, I mean, I might have been able to get that chance again, but then being that young and right. even though I didn't really understand the like importance of it then, it's I was it's really amazing. I feel like so honored that I was able to do that <laughs> even, and able to meet of them course, yeah. even if I didn't totally com and completely understand it then yeah, yeah for sure what was um <laughs> what's one of your favorite memories on set on set of yeah. hidden oh my gosh i loved we um actually had someone who was teaching us the math mm -hmm. well he wasn't teaching us but he was like he was helping us being able to write it on the board okay. so that huge math equation that <laughs> i had to write on the board that was probably my favorite scene really because okay i've i've always been like huge on math and i love math that's one of my favorite classes uh -huh. but um it's funny because i had no idea what it was <laughs> then it was like all gibberish to me but now it's funny because i can probably actually understand it now but yeah that was probably my favorite scene yeah okay. my favorite moment okay for sure <laughs> yeah and so uh, you have to, i mean as any actor mm -hmm. especially a child actor you have to have a uh big support yes system yeah. um so who are some of your uh big supporters in your tribe i mean th it's my family honestly yeah. it's my mom and my dad and even though like the they're not actors themselves and even though they um don't really um know it like they don't know it from experience right, right, they right. can still like they still lift me up and they still give me good words to know in my head and so that's just that's really the most important thing because no matter what you're mm -hmm. pursuing it's good to have a good support system exactly. be, that keeps you going for sure and so i that's i'm really um i'm really grateful for that yeah yeah that's really grateful mm -hmm. to, um, a blessing to have yes I say. yeah i want to say uh thank you again for joining me of in course, the studio yes. um and also for everyone who's watching thank you for tuning in <laughs> and uh you can uh catch season one the entire season one of inside the black actor studio on the on channel uh so that's www.theonchannel.com you can go ahead and stream the entire season one so go ahead and do that and so you can get up to date with everything <laughs> also big shout out to maria menounos and kevin and the girl for allowing me to bring these guests in week in and week out and share their amazing stories with you all we are here with lydia um so i want to talk about black panther wakanda mm -hmm. forever wakanda okay forever. <laughs> <laughs> um what a, what a, a you know a blessing and a privilege to be on such Seriously. an um amazing film mm -hmm. inspiring film game-changing film um i want to know what was your experience like on that set it was it was amazing, honestly. <laughs> um, I it's just I feel so honored and so blessed to be able to be in be um in a movie of such high importance and yeah. such like moving and such big um influence in the black community. Yes. And uh 
in in every big movie like that, there are going to be scenes that are going to be not make it. But I'm so grateful for Ryan Coogler because he put my scene in the uh, extended version, mm -hmm. and so I still get to be like a part of a it. A part of it, and exactly. So, just being able to be there and be able to meet those people and be in their presence was just amazing. Yeah. Because I actually got to meet uh, Chadwick and Lu Lupita. Mm -hmm. And so that was like, <laughs> <laughs> even then I knew who they were and, right. I, and I was like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who you are now? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so I, I love how you mentioned, you know, um, the impact it had on the mm -hmm. black community because yes. it really did. Um, and you, in your understanding of, you know, where Hollywood is, is moving right now, yeah. progressing, mm -hmm. um, what, is, what is something that you're excited for um, for the black community and the future of Hollywood? I mean, I'm... I'm excited for those big movies and big TV shows that really feature the black community that make it, that mm -hmm. make it big and become very successful. Mm -hmm. But also, I'm excited to see everyone up there together. Yeah. And so to see all different races, religions, different abilities all up there together. And so yeah. it's very important for all of us to be represented and to see see ourselves up there on the screen. Exactly, yeah. because yeah, as for so long, you know, yeah. <laughs> and, and people were not were not really included like they are yeah. now. But we are progressing, and I love we're that. Yeah. I love that because people can see with themselves mm -hmm. or Definitely. their family or their yeah. father, their mother. You know, yes. whatever it may be, they can see that Definitely. on there. Um, you mentioned that you love Grays. Yes. Uh, are you a, are you a Shondaland fan? I uh. was a huge Shondaland fan. I was so. I mean, this is like not probably not the correct word to use, but I was so happy when I got that audition <laughs> because I was like I, I loved Grey's Anatomy it's something I watched with my sister mm -hmm. and so it was just so it was amazing when I got the audition yeah. and when I booked the role I was it was it was phenomenal honestly awesome. and so they were the they were the nicest people they were so amazing mm -hmm. everyone was very um nice yeah. everyone was very uh comforting, kind and yeah. comforting yeah and nice. so that was yeah that was an amazing experience and that's awesome but as far as like um auditions what mm -hmm. when you get you know your your sides uh, what are some of the things or any you have any rituals you have any things that you do when you um are studying those uh the, for the audition i always um I've always been really good at like memorizing the lines for an audition because I like I'm a huge reader. I'm a very avid reader, and so I'm very good at um, keeping facts and knowledge in my brain. And mm -hmm. that that also means certain sentences and phrases and for all sure. that. So I've always been good at uh, memorizing lines. But also, what I try to do is I try to well, I have to do it anyway. But <laughs> I try to put myself in the character. Yes. Like I try to imagine it as if. This is my real life, and I am, and I really am that character going through life and on this path that they're on. Right. And so I feel like that's really what I try to do with every audition that I um, go out for, mm -hmm. because that's really the best thing you can do. There's a lot of things that aren't in your control. A lot, yes. But what you can control is what I like doing my best on. Man. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> come through, come through. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, so what was the growth between, like, your first work mm -hmm. and now oh my what gosh. would you say like is the biggest difference <laughs> the biggest difference yeah. um i mean my first big like uh actual role yeah. was on um as a series regular was on uh wits academy for nickelodeon mm -hmm. And that was that was a really fun set to be on because it was a lot of kids and at that age it was super fun to be right. with other kids of course. and so um I feel like from then and now, it's I've become way more experienced. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I've become much better at my um, ability. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like it's just, you know, it's when you practice things and you've done them for a few, and you've done it for a few years, you yeah. just get better. And that's exactly. really the only difference I can really see. I've become more mature, of course. Of but course. also, yeah, I feel like that's really the main the main difference between that little eight-year-old girl <laughs> and me. <laughs> Andy, right? Right, yeah. Huge difference. Mm -hmm. I mean, and you're going to continue seeing differences yes, you know, as you get older, obviously, yeah. and more experience. Um, what's uh, what's something or a challenge that you find um, in the industry? Um, what's something that really kind of, 
I mean, there are tons of challenges, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, but what's something that you've come across um, that you've realized that, you know, I have to work on this to overcome that? Oh, personally? Yeah. Yeah. Um, with <laughs> this is this is okay. This is going to sound weird, but like <laughs> one of my personal challenges mm -hmm. is not being able to recognize my limits, my personal challenges, mm. and so <laughs> I, <laughs> and so Wait, that's a story with a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, um, I'm that kind of person who gives 100%. And so like when I try to put my put like all of myself into something that I'm working on. Sometimes instead of giving 100%, I give 200%. Uh. And so I, my challenge is having to pull myself back because sometimes I will say, say it be school, work, anything like that. Um, like I will sit, I will sit for 12 hours straight so I can finish schoolwork mm. so that I can feel good about it. And so that's pretty, that's really, that's really my personal challenge. And it's like, it's, it can be, um, something that works in my favor or yes. it can be something that works against me right. and so it's really I I have noticed that I have to work on being able to balance that out instead of having to drive and drive and drive and drive and drive and like I do mm -hmm. and so I mean with everything that you do you should have a very good and strong worth eth work ethic of course but yeah. the way I do it <laughs> is probably overload probably too, yeah probably <laughs> overload <laughs> 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 it's it's overload. Yes. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's good. Like you said, it's good, mm -hmm. especially in this industry yes. because you really have to yeah. work and hit the pavement, yeah. you know. And in a town with ten thousand other people doing exactly <laughs> <laughs> trying yes. to do exactly the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, but that's great, though. Yeah. You know, and it's good that you've recognized that, and mm -hmm. you have time to work on it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so good girls, right? Yes. We are back to good girls. Good girls. <laughs> you know, I've been, I've, Reno Wilson, Matthew Lillard, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Retta, awesome. I've always, you know, been a fan, especially Matthew since mm -hmm. I scream <laughs> one. That was like, what, a yes. 90s? <laughs> uh, huge fan, you know. So, um, first off, I want to ask you, because you said you were a big fan of Parks and Rec. Mm -hmm. um, yes. How, how was it meeting Retta and just being... I mean, like, I've never really been the kind of girl to, like, totally, like, oh, my gosh, I love you. I love your uh, shows, all out. that. Like, <laughs> fan, yeah, fangirl. But, um, yeah, no, it was definitely so amazing because it wasn't just her that I recognized. I recognized May from Parenthood. Mm -hmm. I knew Matthew from Scooby-Doo. Yeah, Scooby-Doo, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, no, it was just... That was actually kind of a hard day because I really had to focus on my lines <laughs> and I had to focus on Sarah and not all these people that I was that I was with at right. that time. And so it was it was just phenomenal because at, at that it's amazing to be able to meet those types of people that you look up to at that age because right. the first time I met all of them I was about like nine going on ten I believe mm -hmm. and so that was just at that age it's like wow I get to meet all these people right. and it's like this will keep coming uh -huh. and so I it was just then it wasn't it was it was what was happening at that moment but it's also what I knew was going to happen on keep going forward right and so yeah that was really like the that's feeling that i had and yeah, it was amazing that's that's awesome yeah. that, have you ever um like sat down with reno at all or anything and oh, talked about definitely. like because you know he was a childhood actor mm -hmm. on the cosby show and all that so uh, did you did he give you any pointers or anything like that i mean uh reno's one of my favorite reno phrases is um what's for you is for you yes. and it's for you can't be unfor you mm. and that's really good to know as a child as anyone but especially as a child actor it's good to know that because it's like you get these roles or you go out for these roles and you get really really far but then at the end you don't get picked and yeah. it's good to know that that role wasn't for you yeah. and so that doesn't that doesn't mean any role isn't going to be for you going forward it's just it just means that you weren't exactly what they were looking for at that time exactly and so it's good to have a thick skin it and is. that's and he hasn't said like that exactly but just in general it's good to have a thick skin and it's good to know that there's only one you and that you is valuable and if you give up and because someone said no to you then the world misses out on you yeah for yeah. sure. I mean, there's so many no's, but mm -hmm. you'll get that yes, yes. out of a thousand no's, yes. right? <laughs> and life changing yes. Yeah. Uh, what's one of your favorite uh, memories on Good Good Girls uh, so far? So, I mean, 
there's so many because they, we make so many memories. Yeah. But I think my favorite memories, um, well, first of all, last season, in season two, there was this episode where um, the Girl Scouts, the Journey Scouts, were mm. going to Canada. Mm -hmm. and, um, the girl who played my best friend in the Journey Scouts was actually one of my best friends in real life before she booked the role. Uh. And so it was funny because I was coming back from set and we were at base camp and there was this one girl who's hair looked very very familiar because we went to the same school and I was and I saw her and it was so funny <laughs> because we saw each other and we loved it and we ran and hugged each other That's and, hilarious. and so throughout that episode we were having so much fun together and so that was probably one of my favorite memories but okay. also just just all the behind the scenes stuff yeah. laughing and dancing and singing with the Hill family right. and, <laughs> oh my gosh my little brother Danny Boy yes. Jr <laughs> but nice. yeah there's just so many memories we make and they're all very valuable yeah and, and, and make sure you, you know you carry all those Definitely, with you yeah. um, uh, you know a lot of actors they, sometimes they, they work one job and they leave mm -hmm. and they forget all about it and then yeah. go to the next but it's those little moments that we, we have to gonna, carry yeah it's going to stay with you forever right yeah um, <laughs> what are you? Are you binging anything right now? What are you? What are oh you on? Oh my gosh! What, what I, you on? I mean, <laughs> I mean, um, between school and work, there isn't much time right. to sit and watch shows. But when I do have the time, I love this show on Netflix called Daybreak mm. about the kids in the apocalypse. I, heard about that, yeah. I I love that show. It's just amazing because. It's one of those shows. It's they don't come around a lot. One of those shows that really highlight kids, right, but right. in but in more of an adult situation, you know. And so, like, instead of just kids in a school, it's kids in the apocalypse, for right. like for actually and with danger and violence and them really having to fend for themselves. And so that that's one of the shows I'm binging right now. Also, yeah, awesome. but yeah, <laughs> they break. Okay, yes. all right, <laughs> very nice. Well, um, I, I, I want to move into another part mm -hmm. um, of the interview. Yes. Uh, it's a special segment. Oh. Fast questions, okay? okay? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited for So this. I asked you a question, mm -hmm. and you give me the first and your, your first uh, thought, the thing that pops in your head, okay? okay? You ready? Yes, <clears throat> I <right>. believe so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. What's your favorite word? My favorite word? Yes. <laughs> They're going so great oh already, no? I would know, right? Yeah, so quick. Um, I would think, I just love how it just rolls off my tongue. Portray. Portray. Uh, portray. I've always oh, loved okay. that word for some right. reason. It's been the one word that I've always loved. You portray. Nice. <laughs> That's a good one. Yes. What's your uh, least favorite word? Oh, my gosh. Um, <laughs> think. 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 Really? I can never, it's, I just, it's. I mean, it's really hard because that's, like, one of the most common words right. ever used. <laughs> but, like, just hearing the word think, I just... <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 it's just something about it. I, don't, oh. I, can, I can't put my finger on the exact okay. reason why, but it's just think. I can't. Think. I can't. Okay. Thank you. All right. All right. Think. I mean, think. I'll make sure to, to text you that later. <laughs> think. No. Uh, <laughs> what's your favorite sound? My favorite sound? Oh... My favorite sound is probably piano, like mm. listening to uh, pianos because I'm actually learning how to play the keyboard nice. right now in certain songs. And so I think just being able to sit and hear just a, a nice soft yeah, yes. uh, concerto Lovely, or something, yeah. something on the piano, mm -hmm. it's just amazing. Yeah, I play piano. Oh, really? Yeah. That's I'm, awesome. That's my favorite mm -hmm. instrument. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what's your least favorite sound? Nails scratching oh. on a chalkboard. I, <laughs> I can't do it. I feel it. like that's got to be everyone's <laughs> least favorite. I don't it's know who that. likes it. <laughs> Honestly, or the styrofoam rubbing together. Oh, my gosh, the styrofoam. Ooh, I can't. Mm. can't do it. <laughs> if you could trade places with anyone right now, who would it be? Oh my, right now? Oh, yes. my gosh. I think <laughs> maybe... maybe um, Alan DeGeneres. Okay. I've always, I've always, okay. just like where she is in her life, mm -hmm. and like right now I am 
a child actor and so I'm like going through those things that a right. child actor and a child goes through right. but Ellen she's way past that and she's so successful and she's so kind and mm -hmm. generous and compassionate and yeah. so I'd love to see how she sees the world ah, yeah. nice mm -hmm. okay all right all right <laughs> pancakes or waffles Pancakes. Mm -hmm. Pancakes <laughs> that, definitely. that was the quickest response I got. <laughs> pancakes definitely. definitely. I like waffles, but pancakes always come first. Just okay. The texture. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Of course you were. <laughs> Get it soaked in on the syrup yes. there. Oh yeah. Who's your favorite musician? Favorite musician would probably have to be at the moment Alec Benjamin. Mm. Yeah, he's a solo artist, but many of his songs, um, he's not really like a. His, he would fall kind of under the pop genre, but right. he isn't like the Taylor Swift or Shawn Mendes, but he has more heavy topics and he has more um, meaningful songs. Gotcha. And so, yeah, he, his songs are like the kind of songs you would listen to on like a rainy day, mm -hmm. laying down, reading a book, that kind of thing. So yeah, he's my favorite artist right now. Okay, Yeah. cool. And um, if you could work with any uh, actor right now, oh who would it be? Gosh. <laughs> I would have to say Asante Black. Ah. I've I've always um I've I've loved him from uh when they, when they see, see us, us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I loved him in This, this is, is Us I. and well he's still in This yeah. Is Us and he keeps doing it, but when I saw him on This Is Us and so I think I would really love to be able to meet him or be in a project with him mm -hmm. because he is one of those actors again that has already gone through the child actor yeah. phase yeah. and so um he he's one of those actors that i want to become he's one of those actors that can put so much of himself into a role and be able to show and give me that emotion so well and mm -hmm. so good that i get moved in that emotion too and so i would love to be able to work off of him because the the best interactions that i have on screen are with other people right because you you feed off of other mm -hmm. people and so being able to feed off of that emotion but also have my emotion then that i'm giving in all that that i'm giving to yeah is that would be amazing i would love to work with Dante. okay yeah all right cool <laughs> cool and uh last but not least okay all right <laughs> heaven's real get up to god what would you like to him and say to you you get up to God, mm -hmm. what would you oh. like to hear him say to you? That I should keep going. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I know that's always, that's a lot of people will always say that, but it's really true. It really is. No matter how strong you are in yourself, no matter how thick of a skin you are, you just need someone to say that when, uh, time to time. And so... And so, yes. yeah, that would be. I'm into that. Yes. <laughs> yes. And so that cool. would, yeah, I mean, just to tell me that it's all okay and that I need to have faith because even though you might have it all throughout your life, there's those times that you really need someone to say that to you and for it to move you. And so that would be, yeah. Oh. That'd be one of the things that I awesome. would really need to hear. <laughs> great, great. Well, that was good. That was good. thank you. Yes. That was a good, <laughs> that was a good uh, round of fast questions. Yes. I appreciate that. <laughs> of course. Um, so, do you have anything coming up uh, soon that we should keep an eye out for? Uh, yes, actually, yeah. I have a movie um, about uh, in during the summer. I spent about three months in Canada okay. filming a movie for Netflix called Feel the Beat. Gotcha. And the um, the main role, April, is portrayed by <laughs> portrayed portrayed portrayed. By, <laughs> Favorite word. By Sophia Carson. <laughs> by Sophia Carson. By, so by Sophia. Sophia, Carson. Sophia Carson. And there's a whole ensemble of girls. There is a lot of dancing. That was really fun. Nice. There was a lot of dancing that we got to do. And it's just going to be so much fun. I think everyone's going to love it. And one of the great, one of the best things about it is that, uh, like I said earlier, um, there's a lot of representation. There's nice. different races. There di there's different races. There's different religions. And yeah. there's differently able people mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's going, I'm really excited to see how people receive the movie because I think everyone will be able to see some part of themselves up on that screen. Nice. So I'm yeah, very course. excited to see their reactions to the movie. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, yeah. great. Well, thank you so much <laughs> for course. joining thank us. Thank you for having um, me. I did one thing before um, we wrap up, I like to do uh, with my guests is mm -hmm. give them a spotlight. So okay. you're going to just, you know, address your audience, mm -hmm. uh, give, leave them with a word of inspiration. 
Um, well, you know, I know everyone says that you should keep going, you, sh you shouldn't give up just because you hear a no, but the reason everyone says that is because it's true. And so, really what you need to, what, what you should do, and that is, even if you get a no, that doesn't define you. You are still you with that no, or without that no. And so, what's important for you to remember is that you need to still be you, and you need to still pursue whatever you're pursuing, whether it be art or acting or whatever you want to do. And you just can't let the no's get you down because one day you will get a yes. But if you give up when you get a no, then you won't ever get that yes. And the world will miss out on you. Yeah. <laughs> and so the most important thing is to keep going. Hey, yeah. well, thank you so of much. Course. Thank you for, for having joining. Me. Of course. Go ahead and tell everyone where to find you and social media and all that good stuff. Okay. All my social media platforms are at Lydia Jewett. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> nice and easy, guys. Nice and easy. <laughs> <laughs> and the folks, thank you so much for tuning in. Hollywood Live YouTube page for even more great programming and amazing content. And be sure to subscribe and like our channel when you do. I'm your BH.